Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Welcome to episode number 13 in the Electrical Test Prep Series. We start with Article 220, which is Branch Circuit, Feeder, and Service Calculations. It also includes the amount of wattage, volt amps used per square foot depending on the type of building. Let me start by telling you that a great deal of the calculations in the entire codebook are based on table 220.12. That table determines just how much power is required for each type of building you are doing calculations on. Make a note to yourself that in table 220.12 the term dwellings is a very broad term and is the basic term for most calculations unless otherwise noted. You should also be aware that calculations that are in specialized locations or are a special device can be found in table 220.3. Remember where these tables are and in the code book because they will probably be needed on any type of electrical test you take or any type of calculation that you may need to make on a building. So let's get started. Load calculations will be derived from A. Square footage as defined on approved building plans. B. Square footage of combined rooms and hallways. C. Exterior dimensions of the structure. D. The architect's calculation of square footage. 2. In calculations for square footage of dwellings, which of the following areas will be included? A. Unfinished basements. B. Open porches. C. Parking garages. D. Spaces not adaptable for future use. 3. Solar power system calculations can be found in A. Article 675. B. Article 690, C, Article 430, D, Article 530. Number four, the general lighting load for restaurants will be A, one volt amp per square foot, B, two volt amps per square foot, C, three volt amps per square foot, D, 3.5 volt amps per square foot. Number five, in occupancies, the minimum load for general and non-general loads will exclude A. Electric cooking appliances B. Motor loads C. Farm loads D. Show windows Number 6. Room additions or dwelling additions that are greater than what square feet require new calculations as per Articles 220.12 and 220.14. Room additions in excess of A, 100 square foot, B, 250 square foot, C, 500 square feet, D, 1,000 square feet. Number seven, the demand factor for dwelling units of 3,000 square feet or less shall be A, 125%, B, 100%, C, 85%, D, 75%, 8. The demand factor for hospitals over 50,000 square feet shall be A, 100%, B, 50% for the first 50,000 and 30% for the remainder of the square footage, C, 40% for the first 50,000 and 20% for the remainder of the square footage. D. 40% for the first 50,000 and 25% for the remainder of the square footage. Number 9. The demand factor for hotels and motels from 20,001 square feet to 100,000 square feet shall be A. 65% B. 50% C. 40%, D, 30%. Number 10, the demand factor for storage or warehouses not exceeding 12,500 square feet shall be A, 100%, B, 
90%, C, 80%, D, 75%. The next section covering 220 will be dwelling calculations for the correct service size or the amperage requirement for the dwelling. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching and have a great day.